Many species around the world are facing the threat of extinction. Understanding the factors that make one species more vulnerable to extinction than another is therefore a key pursuit of conservation biology. One theory is that species with larger body sizes are more vulnerable to extinction, in part because these species have large energetic requirements and require large spaces to roam. To test this, we compiled a new database containing the body masses of over 27,000 vertebrate species, including birds, reptiles, amphibians, fish, and mammals. Of these, about 4,400 are threatened with extinction based on assessments by the IUCN. Our results, contrary to previous findings, suggest the smallest vertebrates are just as threatened as the largest. In both cases, these animals are threatened principally by human actions, but very different ones. 90% of species larger than one kilo are threatened by harvesting, which includes humans killing these animals in the form of regulated and unregulated hunting. Meanwhile, the smaller species are mostly threatened by habitat loss. Different conservation strategies are therefore urgently needed to address both these threats. For the large species, there is an urgent need to reduce the consumption of wild meat to lessen the negative impacts of human hunting, fishing and trapping. For the smaller species, fresh water and land habitat protection is key because many of the smaller species have highly restricted ranges. Without action, we are destined to lose the important ecological services provided by both these species groups. Many large bodied species like elephants and large carnivores play an important role in structuring entire ecosystems. Smaller vertebrates play an important role too, particularly in ecological functions that require a small body size, including the pollination done by bats and hummingbirds. At present, we disproportionately focus on the conservation of larger charismatic species, but this neglects the smaller species who need just as much support. It's not too late to make the changes needed to ensure the ongoing survival of many of the large and small vertebrates of this world. But without change, we seem poised to chop off both the head and tail of the size distribution of life.